there. Well, hi there. Well, ho there, Travel Start. It's Liz from Travel Start here. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, I figured now was a good time to talk to you guys a little bit about our groups. We know that you can spend your time absolutely anywhere and that you decide to do it with us. Just makes my heart happy. So thank you guys so much for that. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and become part of the Travel Start family. We are growing. We want this to be a place for positive energy for people that want to get out and see the world and people that want to do that together with their families and loved ones and even who want to get away with travel start and see some of the world with us okay so i was looking through some of my paperwork for our events let me head over there real quick so as you can see we have a total of three group cruises booked now um, once we do this 10 day Southern Caribbean Norwegian epic, which is actually the one thing I did not load in advance. So give me a second. Um, <clears throat> anyways, once we get done with this particular cruise, we will. Oh, stop it. Um, we will figure out what the next group item will be. I have the feeling that it's going to end up being an all-inclusive. I have uh, people that are requesting to go on an all-inclusive something land-based. I know everyone is not into the cruises the way we are, but I am. I try to preload these in advance so you guys don't have to sit through watching me click to find the the cruises on on any of the pages. Okay, yes, I know. <laughs> There's some things that we want to do on this particular getaway. Um, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, uh, Orange Estado, Aruba, Barbados, St. Lucia, Antigua, St. Kitts, the Virgin Islands, both the U.S. and the British, and then back to San Juan, Puerto Rico. It is a 10-day voyage. There is still... Uh, room on this particular um, getaway. However, we're at the point where you have to pay the entire balance. So um, if you came into some money and have some time, we'd love to have you on the um, trip. So just message us or call us and we'll get you handled. So okay. let's get back to this one. Now we have the Celebrity Apex and the Get panorama with Travel Star Cruise. Celebrity uh, Apex is 2021. These two are actually both 2021. February 13th um, is the seven day and then um, June 5th for the Get Panorama. This is a Mexican Riviera cruise. Here we go. Leaves out of Long Beach, uh, goes to Cabo San Lucas, goes to Puerto Vallarta uh, and Mazatlan. There's a couple days at sea and goes to Los Angeles. The most exciting thing about this, you know, Mexico cruises kind of many times follow the same exact itinerary, but the ship, though, um, it's the all-new Carnival Panorama, huge ship, lots of space. We were on it for the uh, naming ceremony, and we had a ton of fun. So um, it's a Vista-class ship quite long. I was looking for its um, gross tonnage. I want to say it's like 120, something like that. I can't be too far off on that. The one thing about the back end for um, many of the travel agent sites is that um, it's in some ways not as easy to find information as the other um, other the site that you guys use. Okay, so 133,000 gross tons. Capacity is 4,000. There's 1,400 crew on board. Uh, it has 15 decks, as you can see. Tons of stuff to do on board the ship. Um, I'm not going to go through all that now, but if you guys like, I can definitely leave you a link so you can take a look at that. Um, I mean, tons of stuff to do on board. So... Great for the kids, great for families, great for multi-generational, that type of thing. Now, here's the thing about our GoCCL booking. Um, these are the rates that we have held within our group, and we do have to do the um, 
initial deposits of $50 per person on this one fairly soon. So if you guys are interested in doing this one, either reach out, call, or message, and I'll get a hold of you. I will be sending out some reminders um, fairly soon that the very the initial deposit is due, uh, due soon, okay? So that brings me to our Celebrity Apex event. Um, I probably could open these up so you guys can actually see what they look like, huh? Actually, let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. Okay, 10 Day Southern Caribbean. This is our flyer. This is, uh, anytime you see the anchor with the yellow letters, uh, that's a travel start group. So um, if you guys get a message from me, many times you'll get a, a copy of a picture of what the um, flyer looks like so that you guys understand that it's coming from travel start and not someone that's trying to spam you. Uh, get uh, panorama. Did this one actually, I decided to post a video with this, so that's good. But there is a flyer for the Get Panorama, and I don't know if it's in my discussion page. There we go. So um, for those of you that were actually interested in the Get Panorama, so that you know, um, I will send this picture. It, the way Facebook does their... Um, sorry. Apparently my neighbor has like a Harley or something. You can hear the motorcycle. Sorry about that. Um, anyhow, so the way that Facebook does their messages, when I message you, it doesn't necessarily come from Travel Start. It comes from, um, it comes from Elizabeth Rivas as opposed to Travel Start, which for some people can be like, what in the world? So, like, I don't know this broad. So anyhow, if you see this picture, you know that that is me and that's just the way travel start or excuse me Facebook does their stuff so um, we do have to get those initial deposits in on this one soon okay so now let's go back to the celebrity apex cruise um, you will get a flyer from me you can see we've got quite a bit of interest on this one uh, let's see if I posted it in here I try to keep it posted. Look, you guys, she's almost done being built, isn't it? She's lovely. Oh, my goodness gracious. Great googly moogly. Um, I know that I posted it on our groups, but I'm not seeing it there, so I probably need to go back and get that taken care of. Here we go. So it looks like that. You guys will get this flyer sent and then a comment from me about deposits or about questions that you may have so that we can try to get you guys booked because our goal is to get you guys out traveling and traveling with Travel Start. So there you go. Um, so expect to see a picture of that. Um, let's, let me just, okay. Right now Celebrity is having a $400 instant savings plus add up to four perks. Uh, for the price of two, so that's cool. It's a sell beyond event, and you know, so drink packages, um, Wi Fi thing. Uh, you kind of you can choose what you want specialty dining, and there you go. Um, as with most cruises, and I know that lots of people don't know this initially, so they can be a little sticker shocked when they get the entire what, what the voyage is going to cost, but. Things like if you get the drink package, they typically don't charge you for the drink package. They typically charge you the gratuities on the group on the drink packages. And depending on the company that you're booking with, those are usually somewhere between $80 to $100 per day. So if you're on a 7-day sailing or a 10-day sailing, the drink package would be something like a thousand dollars well they don't charge you the thousand but they charge you the 20 percent gratuity and by the time you're done it's something like four hundred dollars in gratuities for the drink packages and those gratuities go directly to the people that are serving you the drinks the the cruise line does not keep those but it's always worth saying because of people go well you're giving me the drink package so why am i paying gratuities and that's why 
Um, that also happens, although not to the same effect when it comes to specialty dining. You don't pay for the dining. What you do pay for is um, the gratuities again. Usually it's something like, I don't know, $20, $30 per person, depending on what you're choosing. So people aren't as upset about that. But, but most people understand that alcohol is expensive, especially any packages that have like top shelf alcohol. So they know that it's expensive. They would any day of the week prefer to pay $200 per person than paying the thousand, right? Okay, so there you go. Um, here's our cruise. Oh, it reset itself. Sorry guys. <clears throat> I'm going to have to reset the page. It totally reset itself. Sorry about that. Okay, so what we want is February 2021. We're going to apply that. It is Caribbean. It is out of Fort Lauderdale. And it is aboard the all-new Celebrity Apex. As you can tell, now, now not so much on the 10-day Norwegian because the Epic is not a brand new ship. She was refreshed in 2015, so that was about five years ago. Um, but in terms of the Panorama and the Apex, those will be the newest ships on that particular cruise line. I know Celebrity does have another ship coming out after the Apex that's already being built, but um, she's not on the water yet. And so I wanted you guys to be able to get on new ships and get that new ship smell and get the experience of being on the new uh, voyages, okay? So you can go to CelebrityCruises.com or pan go to uh, Carnival.com or go to NCL.com and look at the ships. Just please do not book on those websites because I cannot book you into the group for most most sailings, I can't book you into it if you booked through their uh, website or their portal. Um, so if you're going to cruise with us, let us take care of you. And that way, if anything happens, you guys have a person to speak to, to go to, and you're not getting lost in the shuffle, right? Okay, so i got to find my sailing again. February 13th. Here we go. So Mexico, Key West, Grand Cayman. Let's look at the ports. Leaves out of Fort Lauderdale, goes to Key West, goes to Cozumel, Costa Maya, and Grand Cayman, which I am absolutely excited about. That's a good thing. Um, let me close that window out. here we go yeah so this one as you can see you do have the four perks that are happening you can see where the pricing starts for um, you know for this particular sailing in terms of a celebrity cruise of all the cruises we booked this one would be considered a modern premium cruise line so cruises tend to be a little bit more expensive it's kind of like going out in a date to Fifth Avenue for seven days out at sea. So um, book accordingly, right? We held some aqua class rooms. We held some ocean view rooms. And I want to say we held a couple of inside cabins on this one. So if you guys are interested, there you go. Now, here's the thing that we did not talk about on this particular one, the, the initial deposits for this is also $50 per person in the cabin. They are for the Mexico cruise. Uh, that's the carnival panorama. And then of course there is the Epic with Norwegian and Norwegian we're past the point of deposits. So I will leave that one alone, but the cruise lines give us a certain amount of time to be able to go ahead and, um, book into the groups and then after that point we no longer have the reduced deposits so if this is something that you guys are interested in get booked in with the initial deposit of fifty dollars um, of course if you're like i'm in i'm ready to pay it off then what i'm about to say doesn't doesn't matter so much but we we do have a certain allotment of time for booking into groups for people that are not paying off a cruise completely which lots of people do um, so on this one, we do have a little bit of time left. Actually, this one cruises 
uh, before the panorama. So, you know, you probably want to get on those deposits and and figure out, we, so we can figure out payment plans and things like that that need to be done if you're not booking and paying it off completely at once. So, um, yeah, so that's the whole thing. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted you guys to, to remind you uh, to get away with us, to get away for yourself, to get away with your families, to go make some memories, to say, you know what, it's time I take care of me, take care of my family a little bit, let someone else take care of us, let someone bring your food, let someone else make up the beds, let someone else deal with all the the day-to-day -day activities and you get to go and enjoy you get to go see shows you get I mean you know whatever you decide to do you get to do those things shore excursion shows uh, you can eat at the buffet you can especially a celebrity they have an area called Eden um, that's kind of a show with with your food um, you can find a place to curl up with a good book you can go to a spa you can uh, you know, there's, I won't say the sky's the limit, but there are so many things that you can do at sea when you are just relaxing. This flamingo thing is on my list of, of things to do. So um, we all have things that excite us. You may want to go and see some of the indigenous wildlife. You might want to go um, scuba diving and go down and look at the coral reefs. You may want to just stay on the cruise ship and relax for those of us with busy lives sometimes when you go on a cruise all you want to do is just take it easy I'm not looking for schedules and plans and things I have to be at this place or that place or whatever I'm just I just want to be and that's totally okay too we did choose and this was this was done on purpose um, we chose fairly large cruise ships um, the smaller the boat to me, the more that you feel the, the ship moving with the ocean, even though they have stabilizers on, the bigger the ship, the less you feel that. So th it's that, um, celebrity was chosen. And if you guys watched any of my other videos, you guys know this to be true. Celebrity was chosen because I was a little afraid to get on this cruise line. Um, I consider myself, you know, easy going lovely can get al along with most people but when you book into a celebrity cruise you know that definitely is for a certain echelon of people a certain demographic a certain income level and I was thinking I don't know how much I will have in common with the people on the ship and for those of you that know me, I don't typically shy away from things that I'm afraid of. I will face them head on. And I also figured this is a good time to go with other people and not have to go and face it alone. So I figured it might not be a bad idea to stretch and go and do the celebrity cruise. So that's how we ended up booking this one. Um, also, the fact that the Apex is new and it has that magic carpet, it's the, let's see if there's a picture of the ship here. This orange thing on the side of the ship there is called the magic carpet. It moves from like deck two up to deck five up to the top deck. And at different points in the day, the magic carpet is sometimes like you can lounge and have lunch or you can go and have seafood hanging off the side of the cruise ship there. I know that's not for everyone. Um, at other times, it's part of a nightclub. It just, it kind of changes what it is throughout the day. And so, um... I thought this magic carpet sounded like fun. I thought that going on a cruise ship that's kind of like Park Avenue also sounded amazing and Grand Cayman was awesome. Um, it's hard when you live on the West Coast because we don't have a, a lot, a lot of cruises from our coast. Where we end up with lots of cruises tends to be over like Florida and really Florida is a big, a very big place that cruises leave from. And so um, there are a couple of other ports around the world, but if you want to do Bahamas or you want to do the Caribbean or you want to do um, things that are more tropical, many times those ports are on the East Coast and you end up having to pay for airfare. So you're not simply paying for a cruise, you're also going to pay for some airfare. Um, 
I have not actually looked into the airfare just yet um, that is included through Celebrity, but that's the way we're going to do our airfare because if your, your airfare, for some reason not your airfare, but if the plane is delayed or something happens and they have to reroute you or whatever, we can call Celebrity and Celebrity will get that part handled and it's not going to cost us anything extra and the ship will be made made aware and so sometimes they'll wait till you know because they know there was a problem with the flight that you booked directly through them so um so anyhow that's that anyhow you guys know i'm a chatterbox i could talk for um i could talk for a while about cruises and things that are exciting and and what's coming up but i really wanted to make sure you, i reminded you guys because i know life gets busy that our Carnival Panorama cruise is coming up on that point where we have to have the deposits in or we have to release the inventory back into their um, into their booking resources so other people can book them if we don't get them handled quickly enough. And uh, honestly, our celebrity cruise actually sells before that, so we should really get on that fairly quickly as well. And... Um, I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of you guys and just hanging out or going to see a show or, you know, the things that happen on cruise ships, all that excitement, food and drink and just relaxation, and you know, whatnot. So um, that's it. Thank you guys for listening. And I will wait, see wait, you wait, guys. Wait, wait, oh. wait. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Okay. So you guys know um, this is something I feel like I should should be telling you guys on our videos but many times I just get like sidetracked and busy and forget to do it so let's see travel start here we go okay so these are just points of business that are worth saying uh, so you guys know we have a retail shop online I recently revamped, um, oh, I'm missing a W. I'm like, what in the world just happened? Uh, I recently revamped some of the setup on Travel Start. So I have things on the shop that, like, I own this dress. Um, I know that it fits. I know how it fits. I own this, etc., etc. You guys know my social media is across the top. But I changed a couple of things. Um, after you get past the first page. So if you click on that book travel that I was just on, it'll take you directly towards the booking engine if you don't want a travel professional to book your cruise, but you want to be able to book it yourself. And if you book something here and something goes awry, I will still be the booking agent so I can still help if something, you know, something goes untoward, right? Or if you have questions or you need support or whatever else, right? I'm still the booking agent for that, okay? So I wanted to make sure you guys knew where that was at. Also, you can book event tickets directly from there. You don't have to call me. You don't have to wait for me to get back to you or or whatever unless you have questions about one of the items that you're you're booking, but you can book this 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 is a travel start uh, website so you guys can book and go to your events and go to your theater shows and or you know look to see if there are park like amusement ticket park uh, park tickets and things like that so anyways you can just click right there and it is there I believe everything after this is pretty much items that you might be interested in except for let's see travel starts official blog so this loads directly to our blog posts um, you know click and it takes you to more information just like everything else um, it's hosted by WordPress so so um, anyhow any of our travel specials that you guys have an interest in or you're thinking about going on many times will be booked in they'll be listed in travel specials or something pops up that um, I feel is a good deal uh, you guys can just go directly to this page and there you go. Uh, I try to list dates and things so you guys know if something's expired or whatever else. Sorry. Loading me into my um, agent page and I don't want it to do that. Okay.
because I'm logged in. Pain in the butt. I did it again. It's trying to pre-populate an old URL that I don't use anymore. <laughs> don't take me there. Stop it. There we go. Okay, so book travel, event tickets, and our blog is all listed on the same site, 10% off. Just use the, comp the uh, code 10% at checkout. Most of these items get to you within approximately two weeks, but some of them may take a little longer, so, you know, plan accordingly. So I just want to make sure you guys know where that is. And as always, you guys can message me directly. Just send the message, you know, click the button, and that'll get you right to me. Or you can... I did a lot of upgrades on the site, you know, recently. So, you know, you can click on these, and these will take you to a place where you can get a hold of me. So there we go. Now you guys know. Also, don't forget to get on our mailing list. We, we do send out mailers and things for sales that come up that are within your, um, you know, something that you might be interested in. Our last email, and I don't email often because I am not big on the junk mail. Do you know what I mean? Let's see if I can find it. Hmm. Let's not go with that one. J Rep is five. Here we go. <clears throat> so you guys will always know it's me because, you know, the anchor with the yellow. And, you know, these are not incredibly long emails, but you can click on the links to get to pretty much anywhere in Travel Start. I try to make sure you guys don't have to double back and figure out how to find something or whatever. So anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for listening. If you guys have questions, please do me a favor. Go ahead and um, type in the comments section if you guys have questions. Or, of course, I know people like to do things many times um, without posting it in a public place. So go ahead and click send messages. Also worth saying is our groups are still... I found out that Facebook and their groups have a little bit of a challenge. So if you're just interested in travel start stuff, but you don't want to book out in the public forum, you can go into the group. I try to add pictures here of things that I have posted in the, um, in the, my overall page. And then the group voyages, I try to post updates. Um, like you saw, this actually was a good one and I posted that in the regular group, but sometimes you'll see the singing and the dancing and you'll see, like, again, they're still building our ship right now. So um, this is the Celebrity Apex being, it's still being built. So anyhow, I try to put that stuff in our group voyages. I want you guys to have multiple ways where you guys can interact with us. It's totally important to me that you guys have a safe place to come, to post, to talk, to chat. Um, to, to be encouraged to meet people that you may not otherwise meet and so that you guys become part of our family. That has been the goal. Um, and of course, we want you to book your travel through Travel Start. So when you're considering traveling, you know, book through us and let us handle your details and all that stuff. And you guys just get to say, yes, I, well, I like that or no, I don't like that or I like this, but I don't like that. Can we change this? as opposed to you searching for hours and hours. And if you like searching for hours, but you're still not sure you, you got everything right, we can definitely step in and help there too. So there you go. Okay, well, that's enough of that. I'm done chattering. I know I've said that three times already, but I forgot a couple things. So um, let me know what you guys need. As always, lots of love and gratitude and joy and laughter and just great, great memories and we will see you guys on the very next video okay bye guys bye everyone